No, no, because a lot of us are going to have issues getting over the pass, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter what pass it is, it's going to be an issue across the Cascades. We were, we're looking right now at Snoqualmie Pass, the summit cam, and the snow is coming down so fast and so hard with such big flakes that it's difficult to see. That's, uh, I believe that's a semi truck or a snow plow in that cam. So it is definitely snowy, very low visibility. The snow is heavy at times, and it'll continue that manner across the course of the day. Stevens Pass, you are very. Uh, snowed in currently lots of snow at the ski resorts we should be getting those uh, ski snow totals here shortly in the meantime in the lowlands it's just good old rain 46 degrees in seattle we are not going to have the issue of snow that we've had the last two mornings we're just going to stick with some rain today your temperatures right now are 46 for seattle but it's 44 in shelton and tacoma up to the north the san juan's coming in at 42 and bellingham has just slipped here to 39 degrees so is arlington also at 39 winds are coming out of the west southwest and you can see they're not terribly strong right now save for Whidbey Island's got a westerly at 23 miles an hour the gusts are now coming out of the west and we're seeing strongest gusts on the coast up to about 40 miles an hour 37 there for Hoquiam 31 for Oak Harbor so here's the storm system that's uh, it's basically a little wave of low pressure that's moving through we've got the bulk of that rain that's pushing up into the snow and the cascades with the snow level around 2,000 feet and this is going to be changing to showers scattered throughout the day but you can see that we have a little bit of a shadowing effect right around the central Puget Sound and across Kitsap because the Olympic Mountains are also piling up the snow today, too. As we look a little closer, you can see in the passes just snow and boy, it is thick snow. You're going to have to have either chains on or chains ready to put on. Most likely, I'm going to bet today is one of those days where everybody has chains required. As you go today, though, it's going to be uh, rain in the lowlands with some gusty wind because that little wave coming through. And as we get to the course of tomorrow, it's going to change over to snow. Here's a quick shot of our seven day forecast just to let you know rain showers and sun breaks today, but rain changes to snow tomorrow. I'm going to show you uh, here in the next half hour about how that cold air is going to move in and how it's going to be a bitterly cold wind for us as we get through Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday looks like our coldest day at this point, but the next chance of getting some good snow comes in on Sunday. Sunday night into Monday morning. It's really going to change things up for all of us here. So we, we, we've all gotten the lowdown. I got a call yesterday on my day <laughs> off saying, hey, listen, we're going to need you to come in at 2 a.m. on Monday yeah, yeah, because we're all going on the air <laughs> at 4 a.m. So we're going on the air a half an hour earlier this coming Monday so that in case anything happens, closures, you're waking up to think we got you covered. Yes. <laughs> Might be a little sleepy, but we'll have you covered. <laughs>